I'm going to be preparing pretty much weeks in advance. The day before, I definitely am preparing all my camera gear and my lighting equipment. Welcome to the talk show where business owners find everything they need to know about digital marketing. I am Elton Hubner, your host and also the founder of Eyes Multimedia, a photo and video production company based here in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Our special guest today will explain what a photographer's routine looks like. What does a shooting day look like for you? When do you start preparing, packing? What do you pack and take with you? How early do you get there? What are the first things you do before the shooting starts? And what happens after you have wrapped up and headed back home? Thinking on a higher production level of a shoot, I'm going to be preparing pretty much weeks in advance. I'm going to start preparing out who is going to be there working with me, who my assistant's going to be, who the artist, the makeup artist, any additional talent. But leading up directly to shoot day, uh, the day before, I definitely am preparing all my camera gear and my lighting equipment. I turn on um, all my cameras, make sure they're firing and functioning at optimal. Um, I do have three cameras that I bring to every shoot for with me um, and multiple lenses. So I'm making sure that they're all clean and ready to go. The sensor, often that's part of a routine that I want to make sure I have a clean sensor going into a shoot. So it's, it's a day before prepping. Um, I have extra production checklist. That's making sure that I have all the call sheets, that I've, I haven't look, overlooked everything. It, it eventually becomes an equation. My lighting equipment, the modifiers that I'm going to new, be using, um, my V-flats, my reflector boards. Um, am I going to be tethered? So that might include my laptop and my tethering gear. So that, you know, if there's going to be a client that is going to be selecting the images on site, um, you know, for a true collaboration, then I need to make sure that that gear is ready to go as well. How early do you like to arrive? Let's say the shoot, the shoot is going to start at 2 p.m. I like to be there at least an hour and a half ahead. Um, if I haven't already scouted the location um, or if it's newer and perhaps I haven't had access to it, that happens sometimes. And if it's in downtown Vancouver, I loathe hating, just loathe looking and being strapped for parking. Um, so I want to allow enough time to make all the trips through the elevator that I'm going to need with all my gear and then safely park my car get back and now I got to set up all my gear. It's a minimum of an hour depending on the production, sometimes an hour and a half to two hours because I don't want to start a shoot frazzled. All right, so fast forward to the end of the day. You have finished your shoot and uh, it's time to wrap up. You arrive home. What do you do? Let's say you have another shoot the next day. What do you do? Well, once I arrive home, then I bring my camera gear inside. And then immediately after that, I take the images off the camera, off the heart, like the little memory card, um, and back it up. So especially if I'm going shooting the next day, I can't risk a, a theft. When you back up the files, download everything, where do you save them? I save them onto an external hard drive and on my desktop while I'm working so that they ex exist in two locations mm -hmm. until I complete the job and then it exists in Dropbox for the client to have access to. How long does it take for you to edit the shoot from a two hour gig? It's going to take me about 15 minutes to upload from the camera to the hard drive. It's then going to take me approximately 45 minutes um, to go through the initial shoot and make my selects, my first selects. And what I mean by selects, I get rid of, I'm culling process now, so I'm getting rid of any blinks, I'm getting rid of crooked ties or anything that's that's just Not extra. Yeah, exactly. So then I'm narrowing it down. Ideally, I don't want to be showing my clients more than 30 to 50. Sometimes it depends how many mm -hmm. looks they're after and what the shoot was creating. Um, and then from there, I take it into the proofing process. And once they've selected, 
Um, and depending on how large the file is going to be shown, if it's going to be in print, then it needs to be fine retouched. Um, if it's just going to be an instant a and a little tiny thing somewhere, then it doesn't pixels. need as much. Maybe some contrast and lightning, dodging and burning, but it can take up to an hour um, just for one. So day. usually within two, three days, you can deliver everything? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So that was Jamie Lee's shooting routine. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Elson.